Hey, what's up everyone? Known as Geeks. I'm going to show you how to remove a door lock actuator for a 2005 Scion XP. Um, the, the generation is from 2004 to 2006. That's the first generation. Basically anything between those years from 2004 to 2006 are all the same parts. So if you go to like an auto shop part or you're looking for some parts online, it doesn't matter what year it is as long as it's from a 2004 to 2006. It, any of those parts will work except the muffler um, for a release 2.0 series the yellow ones they have an aftermarket muffler um, if they ask for it or I think it comes with it aftermarket muffler and which is uh, street legal and the front bumper and of course there's like some stuff in here too but we're not going to talk about that so what you're going to need is a T30 uh, star bit socket and then you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket 10 millimeter or 3 8 socket um, I got the socket uh, type set at O'Reilly Auto this fits any type of bulge you want to put in there you can put um, triangle square uh, octagon it will all it will fit even um, stripped and uh, round ones it'll take it out it's it, this this set is awesome you can get it at O'Reilly Auto for like uh, I think it's like 39.99 so like 45 bucks and uh, I, I used to work for them, so it was like $25 or something like that. But I don't remember. So your first, uh, of course, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, uh, the regular size, and a stubby nose. Um, it's, the screw is really, really tiny. It's, I don't know. See if you can pick this up. I'm not talking about the... Um, uh, I'm not talking about the... Um, uh, um, it has to be thin. It has to be very small. It's a very small screw. Um, you have to get a smaller one, uh, small enough to be able to take out, take out the screws that are on the door lock actuator over here. So uh, first thing what you want to do is you want to take off the screw for this, which is going to be where you pull the door open, which is going to be the door panel. And once you take that off, uh, the screw won't completely come out. You can take it out completely if you wanted to from the where you pull, where you put your hands at. Uh, you can take it out completely out of the, the plastic housing, or you can just take the plastic housing out just enough where it came out. And then you want to do it for the door handle, which is right here. Take that off for the Phillips. And then from there, you want to take this plastic housing off right here. If you don't, if you have sausage finger, meaning you have big fingers and you can't get in there, get yourself a small flathead or like a butter knife and just stick it in there and just kind of pull upwards towards the sky or to the roof and it'll pop and then you can just pull it off with your uh, your with your hands don't be afraid to pop, pop this off because it'll just pop off very easy it won't break and if it breaks it's probably because of the these um the stoppers right here were um pretty brittle uh the 2005 so you would think a lot of this stuff would be brittle okay um from there you want to take off the door panel itself stick your fingers down into it and just pull and you can hear it go pop once it pops out then uh, basically you're done. Um, just ba just start popping them off each one. It goes all the way around like that, all the way up to the. Uh, just it stops right there. Once you uh, once you take that off, um, you don't want to completely. You don't want to pull it outwards like that because you got these cables. You might jack something up, mess up, and then you this right here. You probably break this, and you want to do that. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to pick up the door panel straight up, and then uh, um, straight up. And then just you know, kind of bring it out slowly, and you have you'll have this right here, the cables that are connected to the, uh, uh, the window regulator, the window, and then your door locks. So what you want to do to take your window regulator connector off is for every single vehicle that you're gonna mess with and replace any part that has connectors on it, make sure you push the connector inwards as much as possibly you can go. Don't just like. Get on the no you don't want to you don't want to force it in there you just kind of push in as far as it goes and then keep pushing in and just push down as hard as you can with this now usually Toyota have tools you can see the way the shape is kind of like an L bracket right here and you got the hole right here and right here and then you got the little bracket right here they usually have a tool that kind of pushes it down and then releases it easy but as I said push it in as far as you can every connector push down and then pull out the opposite direction this one is going to be a lot easier right here. This is going to be a lot easier because you have more uh, you have more bending room right here. Oh, look at that. Feel that sexy band right there. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, it has a lot of bend room. So push it in, push down, and pull out. And that's basically it for that part. Um, you're going to have a plastic, bluish, clearish plastic. As you can see, I kind of ripped it right down there. Uh, you can take it off if you want and you can put it back on there, but try not to rip it if you're going to put it back on there. I took the door handle off because um, I want to put the plastic back on there. And um, you probably have to end up ripping it here because I didn't want to have to take this off. I don't want to keep doing all that crap. So I just ripped it off from here and that's perfectly fine. I mean, I'm not worried about that spot. Um, they say that plastic is for basically, um, I think, for like heat uh, dissipation or whatever. It prevents heat from going through. Um, plastic doesn't uh, conduct heat or it doesn't um, transfer heat. I'm sorry. Okay, so you could take this off if you want, but I took it off because it gives me leverage to move it around. I took it off completely. I already replaced the door lock actuator. But um, you can take this off if you want using the 10 millimeter. And then you want to take this off right here, which is the star bits right here using the uh, star bit socket. And then from there, what you want to take the cable off, which is going to be right here take that cable off so what you want to do remember is you push all the way down push all the way in get your thumb right there in that spot which is you can't see it you can't see my finger right there you push in as far as possible and it comes out now once you have that out um there's going to be two screws that you want to take off see that screw right there and then the screw right back there you see that you want to take those two off using that kind of um, thin stubby nose and then it'll eventually just come off now you're gonna want to when you replace it for the new one there's gonna be a little white ball that goes right into that little area you put it back exactly the way you took it off you put the ball right inside put the screws on and uh, basically that's it there's nothing else there's no other steps or anything off else once you take those little screws off the door lock actuator will you know drop off drop down all right, guys, this is Known as Geeks. Thanks for watching. Comments, questions, or concerns, just let me know in the comment section. And if you like my video, just hit the thumbs up. All right, later, guys.